Hey, what's going on? This is Pastor Rudy of my chapel located at Pasadena High School. Connecting to every single one of you and letting you know this is part one to 10 ways who, that we know who we are in Christ. Let's go. Number one, you are a citizen of heaven. Philippians 3.20 confirms and speaks it and sums it up in this way. Literally, that you are now a citizen of heaven, meaning that you have the opportunity to one day be face to face with the Father, with the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But the great thing about that is that so many times we think that we need to wait. No. How about if I told you that you can now experience heaven here on earth because we are ambassadors. What that represents is that now anything that pertains to the things of heaven can now access you right now. Get excited and get ready. Number two, you're adopted into the family of Jesus. Look, to me and my wife, Christine, this means the whole world. Because the reality is, is that God chose you. Out of all the people, of all the situations and all the circumstances in your past, God said, I still choose you. Knowing darn well of the things that we have done in our past, God is still saying, I pursued you. I elected you. I selected you. Enjoy this. Accept it. You are now a part of the family of God. And it's confirmed through Ephesians 1, 5 that we are adopted into God through his son, Jesus. Number three, don't need to live condemned. Romans 8, 1 says that there is no condemnation for those that live in Christ Jesus. Let go of the past. Let go of the guilt. That's not God. He doesn't operate that way. Let it go and let him live inside of you. You are now set free. Luke 4, 18 is summed up that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to proclaim the good news. And in all uh, aspect is to bring freedom to those that are captive. Same spirit that's in me now lives in you. Same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. You no longer need to live bound, live free. Number five. You are now placed upon a strong foundation. Psalms 40 verse 2. And I love this scripture. It says, he lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet upon solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. You are now walking different. You are now probably living different. And that's supposed to be a part of your journey in Jesus. You're upon solid ground. Don't allow for things to come and take you away. Build your house on the rock. That's Jesus. And you will see how great and gracious it is to live for him.